Breaking news now on a story CBS 17 has been following for years now. Yeah, just in the last hour, Durham Public Housing announced that McDougal Terrace could be shut down. CBS 17's Crystal Price has been following this story from the very beginning. Crystal, what have you learned about this? Well, the Durham Housing Authority says HUD has given them one of two options, either renovate this complex or tear it down. Now, CEO Anthony Scott says there will be a process to determine which of those two options to go with. This comes after a carbon monoxide crisis two years ago, where tenants were forced into, ho into hotels for months after some people started to get sick. Now, crews found high levels of carbon monoxide emitting from stoves, furnaces, and hot water heaters. Since then, CBS 17 has reported on other issues families in the complex have had, as some are still waiting on electric stoves. Here's more on what Scott said during today's meeting. HUD has made it very clear they are telling the DHA that they'd like to see us either dispose of uh, McDougal Terrace within the next two years or that we have a development plan of some sort, which could mean renovation work or it can mean a tear down completely and everyone moves. So those things are to be determined at this point. There will be more discussion and public communication on this as we go forward in the process. Now, again, no final decision has been made, but it is possible McDougal Terrace could be shut down in the next two years. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. We will continue to see what happens here. Crystal, thank you. Well, the number of reported COVID-19 infections in North Carolina has hit a two-month low. Yeah, we had